Module 3, Lesson 7, Objective. Use place value disks to represent two digit by one digit multiplication. Vocabulary for the day, everyone say them with me. Factor times factor equals product. Partial products. Place value, unit form. Let's start off with 2 times 23. So if I put 23 into my place value chart, I will know that I have three ones and I have two tens. If I multiply 23 times 2, I would now have 4 in my tens place and 6 in my ones place. We are now going to use partial products in order to find our final product. So we start off with our ones place, 2 times our one place, 3. So 2 times 3 ones will give me 6. This is in my ones column. Next we move to our tens column. 2 times 2 tens will give me 40. Now we have our ones multiplied and we have our tens multiplied by 2. So now we need to add our partial products. This is part of a product and this is part of another product. Add these two together to get a final sum of 46. So 2 times 3 will give me a product of 46. One final way to look at this would be to see that there are 2 times 2 tens and there are two times three ones. So basically we're saying we have two groups of three, which equals six, and we have two groups of two tens, which equals four. And four tens plus six ones equals 46. Now let's look at three times 23. So we know we have three ones, and we know we have two tens. If we multiply 23 times 3, you will essentially be tripling the first one. So now we have a total of 3 groups of 3 ones and 3 groups of 2 tens. Let's now solve this problem using partial products. So first, we multiply our ones column. So 3 times 3 will give me a product of 9. So we can see that we have 3 times 3 ones, which equals 9. Next, we multiply 3 times our tens column. So 3 times 2 will give me a product of 60. 3 times 2 tens. There's 2 tens times 3. Now we need to add up our partial products to get a full product. So 9 plus nothing in our 1's column would be 9, and 6 plus nothing in our 10's column would be 6. So our final product is 69. One final way to look at this would be there are 3 groups of 2 10's, and there are 3 groups of 3 1's. 3 times 2 10's equals 6 10's. 3 times 3 1's equals 9 1's. 6 10's plus 9 ones equals 69. Next, let's solve 54 times 4. First, let's multiply our ones column. 4 times 4 will give me a product of 16. So 4 times 4 ones equals 16. Next, let's multiply 4 times our tens column. So 4 times 5 tens will equal 200. Now we have our two partial products. Now we need to add these together in order to get our full product, which would be 216. So 54 times 4 equals 216. Let's now put this into our place value chart using disks. So I know that there are four groups of four ones. There's four ones, four ones, four ones, and four ones. And then
then if I group 10 of those together, I can move those over to the tens place. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 left in our ones place, and we have 1 in our tens place. Next, we have four groups of five tens. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, four groups of five. And if we group 10 of those together, we can move them up one place value to the hundreds. And we have 10 more, so we can move one more up. So now we are left with two in our hundreds, one in our tens, and six in our ones. So 54 times 4 will give me a product of 216. Let's look at this one last way. So we can see that here we have 20 tens and here we have a total of 16 ones. If you break that apart and decompose it you will know that you can take 20 tens and move that to two one hundreds. And if you have 16 ones, you can move that one to my 10. So you'd have one 10 with six ones left over. And two hundreds plus one 10 plus six ones will equal 216.